What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Average Aardvark channel. As you can see, the Avenger Titan is doing work for me. We just got to the point where we can go after VHRT bounties, which is the second highest before extreme risk uh, bounty targets. And we made 995 thousand three hundred and twenty six dollars dollars well not dollars a alpha uec which is just over enough to buy the ship i've been trying to buy which is the anvil arrow oh yeah we're gonna buy ourselves a fighter because i really enjoy doing these bounties and i think it's the best way to make money well i mean it's the best way to make money if you want to have fun, it's also the probably mm, the least risky way to make money because if you die in your ship to a bounty, you don't actually lose anything. You don't lose armor because you shouldn't be taking armor. You don't lose any of your guns. Uh, you don't lose backpacks, you know, the stuff that's in your backpack, all your meds, your magazines, your ammo, all these things that you would have to take if you're going on, like, bunker missions or other ground-based FPS security missions or so something like that. It's also a lot less frustrating if you die doing this because, well, like, let's say, like, the next best way to make money, right? Probably the number one best way to make money is to take your prospector out to Lyria and mine Quantanium, right? And you can make 250k, you know, an hour potentially uh, doing that. But say you die doing that, or the game glitches out and you lose your cargo full of pro Prospector Quantum because you can't store it, or, you know, the landing pad bugs out and doesn't let you claim it, and blah, blah, blah. We all know the issues that exist for mining. Like, you just spent an hour mining Quantanium and now it's just all gone like nothing ever, like you did nothing, you know? Like those bugs, like, I had a stretch where that happened to me like three times in a row. It was like five hours of gameplay for literally less than zero dollars because my ship ended up exploding um, and I had to fix it for 30K. But, you know, say I'm out in a group of VHRTs that mission will give me $65,000 to complete. It takes me 15 minutes, you know, around there, maybe 20 minutes if it's, if I'm running into trouble. But even if I die in the middle of it, I respawn at Grim Hex and the bounty is still there for me to complete. You know, I've, I've lost no, I've lost nothing. You know, I've lost five minutes probably for me to get back in my ship and get back to the bounty um, objective area. So, <clears throat> and also, while you're doing it, you're learning a skill, which is really cool. You know, you're learning how to operate your ship and how to be the best dogfighter, like PvE dogfighter you can be, which is really fun and rewarding. So, that's that's why I think that doing bounties, like grinding your rep up to VHRT and ERT is, is the best way to make money. Because it's the most fun, the least amount of risk, the least amount of bugs, the whole thing. And you, I end up making, you know, 150k an hour now that I get 60 grand for for these VHRT group missions, which is pretty freaking good, you know. So, so that's my take on it. Now let's go freaking buy my dream ship. You're about to get replaced, buddy. You've been you've been great, but I'm moving up in the world. I'm gonna die of thirst. Well, that's kind of dramatic, actually. I still have half my whatever. Here we freaking go, dude. What the? I went the wrong way. That feeling when you're walking into the dealership with 900k cash. Uh, okay. It's not here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to Area 18, apparently. This is awkward because I have to go get back on the Avenger, which I just basically disowned. All right, we made it to Area 18, finally. Now I just have to find Astro Armada. Oh my, oh my gosh. 
Imagine how horrible it would be if this was what real life was like. That's a good, like, would you rather question. Would you rather cut off an arm? Or live your life like you're on a laggy server? I would cut off an arm without question, like instantly. Right, I can't believe this is happening. Yes, uh, before you ask, <laughs> I'm doing this like a week before they're about to wipe all the servers. Or not the servers, they're gonna wipe. They're doing a game wipe. So I'm gonna buy the ship and it will be gone pretty much before I get a chance to really get good with it. Uh, but at least I'll have it for a little bit. There it is. I'll have 21 grand left. And we're doing it. Heck to the yes, bro. That'd be sick if they had an elevator that took you right up to the uh, hangars. Straight from here, that would be a good idea. Why are you guys all in the foyer? Can you please get out of the way? Actually, I do need something to drink. I don't know how to get out of here, dude. Uh, this was where I spawned in the first time I played this game. And let me tell you, that was a horrible idea. This place is like a freaking maze. If I were gonna spawn in, if I were gonna tell someone where to go, their first ever spawn, I would say pick New Babbage on Microtech. It's so much easier to navigate than this freaking stupid place. Let me in. Let me in. Thank God. Well, we have done it. We've got the arrow. Now let's go. Uh, I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, I'm on the floor. That's why. You know what I might do? Instead of flying the ship all the way to back to Grim Hex, I could just kill myself and then respawn there and call the ship there. I think I'm a genius. All right, bro. Oh my gosh. All right, so we got some some gats. We're gonna have to fix that. Six torps. Oh, well, they're missiles, really. Oh my gosh. I'm stoked. Oh, I love that green. I love the green HUD, dude. So this is it in its landing gear mode. I assume... Yep. Oh yeah, dude. This just looks like a really futuristic fighter jet and that's why I love it. Giant frickin' engine. It's, it's basically just two wings on a giant... jet engine. Which I think is really sick. Great visibility. Can't complain. That is some roll speed if I've ever felt it. Oh my gosh, this is an atmosphere as well. Alright, maneuverable she is. Alright, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open the cockpit and take my helmet off. And just respawn at Grim Hex, call this baby over, and then start doing some bounties over there. Now that we're in outer space, let's see, oh, 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 how do you open canopy? Well, we can power off first. Oh yeah, there it is, no. Oh. Actually, let's just get out. Okay, pressing Y does not get me out like it should. Well, that's fine, I should just be able to, oh no, you see, that's the, is there an eject? Why is it so hard to kill myself in this ship? Oh, nice. Okay, it did work. Now that I have the ladder open. Oh, dang, I'm just... literally falling to my death. Well, we're gonna accelerate it and just... Uh... Bro, all I want to do is die. Normally this game is really good at killing me. 
What the frick? Um, oh wait, here, here, wait. Here we go. Nice, okay, I, I did it. Should die shortly. Probably in this situation, less painful just to let yourself splat. I don't know if you'd actually feel that pain. Like, obviously no one knows because no one's lived it. No one's died from falling and lived to tell the tale, you know? Why is this taking so long? Alright, cool. Alright, nice. We're back at Grim Hex. Now that we're in the proper place for some bounties, let's go kill some stuff. Don't miss the dramatic unfolding of the wings, because that's sick. And we're freaking off. It's so maneuverable. Like, oh, oh my gosh. I could already tell. This is going to be a weird experience for me. Hey, where's the bounty at? Oh my gosh. This thing rolls so fast compared to the Titan, dude. Oh my gosh. The, the, see, the problem is this thing is too uh, twitchy for the keyboard. Look, these are these are the S turns that I would normally be making with the with the Titan, but in the the arrow, they're not S's; they're just Z's. We probably have barely enough ammo to do this because we are running ballistic. Got to change that, but right now I don't have any money to change my uh, loadout, so. What is that turret? Oh my gosh, I don't know how to do this. I haven't run ballistics, like, in a long time. Those hitting? What are these? What are these like size four? <laughs> I don't think I could do this. I'm out of ballistic ammo. I need to change my MFD because I can't see my shield readout. Yeah, the pip is so far away. I have a really low velocity uh, weaponry going on here. I don't even know what it is. I need to get in closer. I can't tell this is doing any damage. Yeah, it's doing something. It's hitting. Yeah, I've done a lot of damage to him, actually. Kind of just ignoring the other fighters, or they're not even fighters, they're probably like a cutlass or something. Well, you can get in the slot from here. Try to get in really close on him. Yeah, that's, see, that's how close you should be with the arrow. Like, he's not even moving. <laughs> he can still hit me there, apparently, though. There we go.
took some oh <laughs> I was about to say we took some wing damage. I think that's probably because I just ran through the wreckage, but you know. You start blacking out fast in this ship. It's so maneuverable that the g-forces you exert on yourself are just immense. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is change the the loadout, but I'll make another video when I've done that in the next couple days. But I am super excited to keep using this thing. It's going to be unstoppable once I get the right guns on it. Yeah, the, the keyboard twitchiness is insane when I like using this without sticks. You have to tap every input. All right, so that's the arrow. That's the first fighter I've bought in the game. I'm super happy. Didn't really use it too much, so I'm not really used to it yet, but this is gonna be fun. I can already tell. I'm gonna be a expert bounty hunter. I mean, I'm already doing VHRTs, but I've been doing that in a Titan. Imagine how much easier it's gonna be in this thing. I'll be untouchable. <laughs>